Facebook Messenger Rooms. It is a direct competitor to Zoom. In fact, it is the strongest competition Zoom has ever faced. However, it is missing a pretty important feature that could be a reason not to use it for some people. And there's another feature that I think will work, but I hope it works, to be able to bring in your super pro video setup into Messenger Rooms. So what are Facebook Messenger Rooms exactly? Uh, are they free or are they paid? What all can you do in those rooms? I'm gonna fill you in on all the details. Are you ready? Let's do it. Now, please keep in mind that this is a fresh announcement at the time I'm shooting this video. It has not even been released yet, so I cannot show you Messenger Rooms, but as soon as it is released, I will put a follow-up link in the description, so check that description for more in-depth videos. By the way, if you're new around here, please type new in the comments. I would love, love, love to meet you. And if you are new, then you probably don't know me. Hi, I'm Laria Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros, where we help you create professional video and live video that is uniquely you. Okay, so here's what we know so far. Just like Zoom, Facebook Messenger Rooms will hold up to 50 people for free. Now, unlike Zoom, which has a 40 minute time limit, Messenger Rooms will have no time limits. I'm hearing bits of info here and there that you're gonna be able to pay for additional features, like maybe more people or something like that, but we're just gonna to have to see how that works out at this point. Now, on the live stream that I did about this particular topic when it was first announced, somebody asked me, will we be able to mute people and have that control? So in terms of features, what we do know is that you're going to be able to choose who you can see, who can see and who can join the room. Um, you're definitely gonna be able to remove people from the call, and when you do, the room will actually lock down so that they cannot join back in, and you're going to have to manually unlock the room for anybody else to join in. Now, they say that they have built rooms with privacy and security in mind. That was my first thought when I heard that they announced this, and this is one of those features, the super locking. <laughs> I'm gonna call it super locking. So when a room is locked, only the room creator, or if you've started a room in a Facebook group, you the group admin themselves can actually still join in. So owners and group admins, if you're running it in a, in a group, can join in. So you can also just leave a room like you would expect to. If you're done in there, you're like, I'm out of here, you can leave, you're not gonna be trapped. And I find it quite funny that Facebook felt the need to point that out, but hey, Security, baby. You can also report a room at any time. And if you block somebody on Facebook or Messenger, of course, they won't be able to join a room and you cannot join their room, of course. Now, you can also lock a room if you've just got too many people on and you don't want anybody else to join it. Um, but what's cool is that people will even be able to join without having a Facebook account. You can just send them a link and they can join that way. Good for you, Facebook, I like that. Also, you can share your screen. However, don't get too excited because <laughs> just like if you try to do a Facebook Live from Facebook itself on the browser, rather than using software to go live, in Messenger Rooms, it's gonna be the same thing. You're going to either share your camera or your screen, you cannot flip back and forth, unfortunately. This is the one thing that causes it to be less than Zoom, in my personal opinion, what do you think? But here's the thing, and here's where I have hope, <laughs> okay? If Facebook Messenger Rooms allows for virtual cameras to be seen as a camera option, which it should, but we're gonna have to totally see, Zoom does this, then you could potentially use the setups that we teach right here on this channel to share both your camera and your screen at the same time. Now, if that's confusing to you, let me explain. So I'm using currently Ecamm Live right now to record this video. I also use the same software to go live with a very professional setup. I can swap back and forth between different cameras for a multi-camera stream. I can use overlays to share my screen and be on the camera at the same time. I can do countdown clocks and play music like this. Let's go, let's go. 
I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but all of this is possible and it's push button simple. And by the way, if this is intriguing to you, now would be a great time to subscribe to this channel and check out the links that we have in the description where we teach you how to do this stuff step by step in our Create Your Dream Video Studio Workshop. You'll also find more info on the music we use to avoid copyright claims and the countdown timer info. So in Zoom, I can bring all of that, my full production, the camera switching, the graphics, all of it into Zoom as my camera source. Now, why exactly would you wanna do this? Well, it's perfect for fitness classes like dance, yoga, working out. It's perfect for churches and teachers. It's perfect for wowing your clients during a pitch meeting or an exploratory meeting. The instant credibility that comes with this generates new opportunities and more revenue. We have seen it time and time and time and time again with our students. So the question is, Will Facebook allow for this possibility or not? I mean, I believe it will, but we can only wait and see, and you can be sure that we will be testing it to its core. <laughs> so that's what we know and what I hope to see, but I cannot imagine Facebook launching a Zoom competitor without making sure that Facebook Messenger Rooms has all of the basic functionality of muting and unmuting to answer that earlier question. That just seems expected to me. So I would be very surprised if you can't do that. Now, one Zoom feature I would definitely not expect to see in Facebook Messenger Rooms is the Breakout Rooms feature. Maybe later, but probably not, and definitely not on launch. So you can create a room right from Messenger, either on the desktop or mobile, and you can start rooms from either your profile on Newsfeed or Groups, or events, so all three of those places you can start one. Now in the future, they'll add the ability to create rooms from Instagram Direct, WhatsApp, and Portal if you happen to use any of those. Now as an attendee to the Messenger room, the flip side, you're gonna be able to join from either your phone or your computer, and it won't require any software. Now, let's just get real here. If there's no software, then that means that functionality is likely to be more limited than Zoom. So while I believe what I said earlier that you'll be able to do most of the basic stuff Zoom does, I also know that software and cloud-based solutions usually provide different levels of functionality. Something to bear in mind. So when will it be available? I hear you asking loud and clear. <laughs> they say it's gonna roll out in some countries this week, meaning the last week of April and first few days of May, 2020. The US and Canada are the usual suspects for the first release. And in the coming weeks, quote unquote, it will roll out to more countries. This video is what you should watch next, where I talk more about Facebook Messenger Rooms. If you have any questions about all of this or anything live streaming related, join our Friday live Q&As at 10 a.m. Pacific. I'll see you then. Have an awesome day.